All right, here's how to publish a blog post directly to your custom built site using just Claude and an MCP server. Check this out. Write me a five paragraph essay about the importance of adding AI to your startup's website to increase valuation and publish that directly to my Mindflow GitHub repository using the blog directory. Okay, the blog's been written. We'll go to our homepage for the fake app we just made. Go to our blog section. There it is, the strategic imperative. I'm not gonna read all that. Okay, so let me show you how to do this yourself. All right, so we've got Windsurf open and we're just gonna tell it, build me a website for a note-taking app that never found product market fit and instead is just pivoted to an AI-enabled productivity operating system for your thoughts. And then we're just gonna say, build in Next.js with a blog directory that reads markdown files from a content blog directory and renders them as blog posts. And then just to be super specific, we're also going to add, the site should have a blog page listing all posts at blog directory and individual post pages with the URL slug. Maybe not necessary, but I'm just including it for a project directory organization. All right, Windsurf has got the website down, Mindflow, AI enabled productivity operating system. Love the name. Let's check out the site. Okay. Okay, looks good. Does the blog work? Nice, we've got a blog, we've got some pages. Not sure what's happening with that, but all right, this is all set up. So next we're just gonna go to GitHub. We're gonna create a new repository. We're gonna call this Mind Mindflow. Mindflow public, just hit create repository. So now we've got our GitHub repository ready to go. I'm just gonna copy this. I'm gonna tell Windsurf, great. Please push to this GitHub repository. Great, now just configure it for Vercel deployment. So we're gonna get that ready. So once we push to GitHub, it'll automatically deploy to Vercel and the link will be live. So we just refresh the browser and we've got the repository set up. Okay, next we're gonna set up the GitHub MCP server in Claude. So I have the GitHub MCP server documentation here. All you need to know about is just this usage with Claude. You can see in here in the JSON, we have GitHub personal access token. So we're gonna to need to get that token before we do anything else. So to do that, we're gonna to go to GitHub. We're gonna to go to settings, developer settings. We're gonna go personal access token, tokens classic, generate new token, generate new token. We're gonna to set the expiration to no expiration. We're gonna do all repositories and then just make sure to change the read and write permissions. And then just hit generate token, generate token. So, okay, I'm blurring this out, but here is our token. We're gonna to copy it, save that for later. Now we're gonna to go to the GitHub MCP server documentation. We're gonna copy this JSON. So now we're gonna to go to Claude and we're gonna set up this MCP server with that documentation and our access key. Go to settings, developer. So then just open this configuration file in any text editor you prefer. I'm gonna go Visual Studio Code. And then obviously blurring this out too, but what we're doing is we're just copying and pasting the JSON that we got from the documentation with our access key. Okay, so that's in there. And then we're gonna restart Claude. We're gonna open Claude back up and then just check to see if GitHub is working. So I'm gonna go down. All right, everything's in there. The GitHub MCP server is all set up and ready to go. Next, we're gonna go to Vercel and actually deploy this site. For sell, we'll go to add new project. We'll import our Mindflow GitHub repository and then just hit deploy. And then it should deploy fine. If you run into any errors, just copy the build logs. All right, yeah, we got errors. So let's just copy these. Let's go to cursor or windsurf. We have some errors in this Vercel deployment. Can you figure this out? Classic ES lint errors. All right, so we're all set up in Vercel. We've got a live Vercel link. Go to the blog, blog is there. Now let's go to Claude and test this thing out. Hey Claude, I need you to write us a blog post about how our team at Mindflow is gonna achieve AGI. Publish it to the Mindflow GitHub repository. Use the GitHub MCP. We've got the blog post. Let's see if it actually works. Okay, it's in GitHub. Let's see, was that push? I want it to push as well. Okay, it just pushed. And then wait for Vercel to load here. Go to the logs. Okay, 48 seconds ago. I think this is the latest. 
Blog, the Mindflow Path to AGI. We really gotta fix this font, but you get the idea. Pretty wild to think what you can do with this. All that being said, the one thing that it's missing is images. So you can see, I mean, this is just a text-based blog post. And I have been through the ringer trying to figure out how to get images seamlessly uploaded to this. And nothing seemed to work except for Imgur. So let me show you how to actually do this. Okay, we've got Imgur open here. I've got my account. Just go to hidden and then click new post. And then I'm just going to drag something random. And then make sure to hit copy the link here. Don't click copy the album. Actually copy the link. We're gonna go back to Cloud. I'm gonna say, can you add this image in between paragraphs three and four of the blog post we just published? And this is cool. I didn't even mention this is doing the right syntax in the markdown file. Added the image to the blog post. We're gonna go to Vercel. Give it a second to deploy. We've got our updated. Let's go to blog. We'll go to our AGI blog post. And there it is. So you can kind of see where this is going, right? Like this is still early stages, but I do a lot of writing with Claude and it's just so nice to not have to go to one app, to go to another app, to go to freaking Cursor or Windsurf where they're gonna mess it up three different times. Like to just be able to publish right here is just a game changer.